Hi. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, baby. You're so beautiful. Look at you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh my god. Getting married. Jillian and Tyson, marriage is the promise between two people who love each other, who trust that love, who honor one another as individuals, and who wish to spend the rest of their lives together. Tyson James Porter Forbes, today is the day I become your wife, and I could not be happier or more excited. You truly are everything that I have ever dreamed of. You have brought me so much happiness into my life and I am forever changed because of who you are and what you mean to me. Together I know we will accomplish the life that we both dream of living. <laughs> um, oh, just take a moment for a second. It's okay. You are my inspirations and my soul's fire. You make me laugh. You teach me so much love. You provide a safe place for me. On this day, I give you my heart, my promise, that I will walk with you hand in hand wherever our journey leads us. There is no one I'd rather spend my life with. I love your kind, loving heart, your sweet laugh, and most of all, I love the way you make me happier than I thought anyone ever could. To my beautiful bride, today is a day I get to officially call you my wife. Words cannot express the happiness this brings me. I still remember the day I met you on Kitts Beach like it was yesterday. He started with hello on a summer afternoon. I lost myself and everybody else when I found you. Told you that I loved you, you weren't ready yet But I had all the time you needed to be here till the end I still cannot believe you chose me. How did I get so lucky? The love and support you show me is beyond my wildest dreams. Your drive and motivation continues to amaze me. It's been in in slow I promise to always be by your side through all the ups and downs, be your best friend and sidekick through all of life's adventures. I promise to always make you laugh and hold you when you cry. You are the love of my life. I promise I will never forget this privilege, no matter how many years go by. I love you for I love you now and forever. Your husband. <laughs> Oh
behalf of Jillian and Tyson, I would like to thank you all for being here this afternoon, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the efforts that it takes, not only to be part of this day, but to be a part of Jillian and Tyson's lives. In the greatest story ever. Tyson, do you take Jillian to be your wedded wife? I do. And Jillian, do you take Tyson to be your wedded husband? I do. Tyson, as you look at Jillian, please repeat after me. <clears throat> Jillian. Jillian. I take you just as you are. I take you just as you are. Loving who you are now. Loving who you are now. And who you are yet to become. And who you are yet to become. I promise to always be grateful. I promise to always be grateful. For our love and for our life. For our love and for our life. To be generous with my time. To be generous with my time. And my affection. And my affection. To be patient with you. To be patient with you. And with myself. And with myself. To love you completely. To love you completely. On this day. On this day. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. And my promise. And my promise. I, by the authority commits me by the province of British Columbia, pronounce you as husband and wife. Tyson, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Porter Forbes. Congratulations. Jay, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> um, I just want to say a few nice words about the bride and groom. Uh, Tyson, you look absolutely stunning tonight. You're a beautiful, strong, intelligent woman. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, Jill, Jill, you look absolutely stunning tonight. And you are a beautiful, strong, independent woman. Tyson is my very first grandchild. One time in particular, I remember, we were at a park and I asked him, what would you like to be when you grew up? He looked at me in complete surprise, as if to say, you silly grandma. And he replied, I will still be Tyson. <laughs> Growing up with Tyson was awesome. The kid's hilarious, a lot of fun. When we first started hanging out, I used to leave my house and I'd be like, Mom, I'm going to hang out with Tyson. And she'd say, okay, have fun. A couple years later, and a couple more injuries later, Mom, I'm going to hang out with Tyson. I better not have to take you to the hospital today. It was, uh, it was fun. We, we had fun. Whenever I meet anyone that knows Jill, I hear them exclaim the same thing. Oh my God, Jill is the sweetest person I know. And it's true. Jill is the woman who chooses to see the good in others and highlight their strengths. You are the sweetest. When she first told us about this Tyson guy she had met at the beach who handed her his business card. <laughs> threw it. Oh, he threw it at her. Oh, oh, he, I'm sorry. So he's so lucky, Ty, you know, he's a super guy and everything, but the luck out, the luck out to have Jill, to meet her, supposedly on a beach or something, it's like, wow. I mean, I mean I've, I've gone to a beach a thousand times, and I've never, never met a woman like that. It's like, wow. I mean, how lucky can somebody get? 
But honestly, Tyson, you are a wonderful person and you're always so stoked on life. And it's truly infectious. You make Jill so happy and that's all we could ask for. In my late 20s, I became envious of all my friends with babies. Especially one annoying friend who had a particularly perfect baby. Fortunately for me, Jill has a couple traits I can roast her on. First and foremost, as you know, Jill is always late. She was born 10 days after her due date, and I have been waiting for the last 30 years. Now Tyson, I don't really know you that well, but what I do want to say is a lot of things in life we do identify our character. This was so important to Jillian to be married here, like in Asoyas or up in the Okanagan, because this is where we came every summer for years, and, and it was important to her. So my hat's off to you because it was a big commitment, because you had so many people you had to bring out there, and you gave that to her. And that I appreciate, and it shows what a man you are. <laughs> Jillian, I've watched you grow since you were a baby. I've been not only watched, but participated in your life. And I can't be more proud and honored that you came into our lives, not only mine, but James and Brennan and Tommy. And we, and well, Dane was her brother. And <laughs> it gets very confusing in this blended world, but uh, you certainly added so much to our lives and really special. But everything's been said about Jillian and we love her as, uh, as we all do. And uh, I don't really know if there's anything else I can add about her. She's, she's you know, impressed us all. We're very proud of her. Very happy for you too. May you fulfill all your dreams together. May you prosper in happiness, health and wealth as you journey through the rest of your lives as husband and wife. And to quote my sister Susie, just love each other with all your hearts. Cheers. Won't you come with me? The breeze singing, say la vie, it feels just right. It's a brand new day, I can hardly wait. So, for goodness sake, I think it's time. Let's tell. 